What's up guys and welcome back to Planet Zoo. We are at the No Name Zoo. Um, I am looking for names guys. Give me some suggestions. Uh, throw your suggestions in the comment section below. But I figured I'd give you a little update on where we are and what we're about to do. So as you can see, we got people coming into the zoo. I did open it up. Uh, there's only really, there's not many things to look at. But anyways, uh, as we go through here, uh, so as you can see, I don't remember where we left off, but I did add like a little sundry shop, I guess, right over here, uh, added some wall decorations, I got a first aid station there, oh good, people are using up the shops, excellent. Excellent, 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 and they are loving the otters. <laughs> Did you see that one jump? <laughs> uh, so yeah, they're they're loving the otters, which is great. And then what I've got going on over here, this is the first reptile house. Um, it's not really a reptile house. This one is more ar arachnids. So I've got the spiders there. Uh, there I've got spiders there and then I have the centipedes over in this one and this isn't completely done um, there's definitely a lot of work I have to do on the outside still I want to finish decorating this out so it's not obvious uh, same thing over here but for the most part I've got everything decorated out the way I wanted to I'm going to add some stuff to the top as well but now what I'm going to do is I've got some llamas going into quarantine and I'm going to put a little llama area back up in here. How I'm going to do it, I don't know yet. <laughs> but um, I am going to work on it. I do kind of want it to be kind of mountainy, hilly. Um, yeah. So I got to figure something out. Um, I do want it to take up, basically the llamas are going to have this whole area. I just need to figure out how I'm going to do it because this path is going to go into the llama enclosure and this path is also going to go into the llama enclosure. Um, basically I'm going to force the guests to go through the llamas or through this little arachna hut. <laughs> um, in order to get to the next section of the zoo. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I got to figure that out. And then over here, we're going to have the Galapagos giant tortoise. With the same concept. They're going to have to go through this area in order to get to the next one. So, I'm going to get started on that, guys. And I will bring you in... Um, whenever I feel is a good time to do so. So I will see you then.
So we finally got the llamas done. They're all moved in. And in the process, we had some baby otters get born. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Um, so let's go through and we'll take a look-see at what we've got going on. Uh, where did the baby otters go? I know they were running around here somewhere. Ah, there's two of them. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Um, the animal models in this game are really, really nice. They look a little demonized, <laughs> but <laughs> they're still very nice. Um, but anyways, uh, this is all about the llamas today. So, what I did was, uh, in the process, I created some signs, uh, something that I wanted to do. So, I just called this building Arachnia. And you guys have seen this. Uh, it is big. <laughs> well, not big, but uh, it's quite the attraction for the guests. They seem to like it, but, I mean, we've only got, you know, three attractions in this park so far. I decided to call the Llama area Llama Hills, so I got that sign put in there. And then I went and put the sign there, and I also put the Arachnia sign there. I still need to finish out um, decorating the building to cover the wood on the outside, which is no problem. As you guys saw uh, in the speed build, I went and just covered up this fencing area just to make it look a little bit nicer. Um, I don't like how, with this, um, with the barrier, how, the way it looks, um, so I just, I, I just wanted to change that up a bit. Uh, we do have, what do we have? We have eight llamas in here. I think we can have, like, ten of each, male and female. So, I've got, uh, I've got four females and four males in here right now. Um, all the different uh, fur variations. I've got this guy here, um, along with that one over there. Then I've got these darker fur colors. Um, got that one, and then these guys. They're all very similar. Different patterns, but very similar. And I've got this like almost black one here, which is kind of cool. And then I have this one here, which is different from all the others. <laughs> by a long shot um, it's uh, you know I, I'm happy with this habitat it is kind of out in the open uh, which they seem to like they don't seem to like a whole lot of coverage so I didn't I didn't put a whole lot of uh, coverage in there uh, and uh, I'd like to hide my uh, staff buildings as much as possible. I didn't go crazy with the staff buildings. Um, as you can see, they're just the standard staff buildings. And then I've got a staff tunnel that connects it all, uh, which is important. I want my staff to be able to get to every single exhibit, every single habitat. So that's what I did there. I am going to end up covering this up a little bit more, but I just wanted it to be functional. So that's what I've got. I've got it functional right now. And uh, while we're here, let's go ahead and change this out. I hate how the grass grows through the pathways whenever you do uh, terraforming. 
it's something we just kind of have to deal with, unfortunately. So I'll get rid of all of that. Uh, the staff really don't need a whole lot of uh, amenities, I guess you can call it. But I've got that back there. It is pretty well hidden. Um, it could be better. Uh, so like if the guests are over here, they can see where the staff go in and out of. And they can kind of see the building, which I don't want the building itself to be entirely too visible back there. So I'm going to cover that up some more as well. Um, obviously, I'm going to do that. What the heck? Dude, um, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, let's go ahead and press play. I had no idea that llamas could swim, but apparently they can. Um, all right. And he's just going to clip through the train there. Are you going to be able to get out? Okay. Yeah, all right. Well, um, so they can swim, <laughs> sort of. But, uh, yeah, um, it's a nice walk-through area. Um this guy really likes the attention. He was over here on the path, as you guys might have seen earlier. Uh, the other ones, yeah, you know, it's nice. I, I like how the llamas can interact with our guests. And I like that the guests can actually see the llamas. We do have quite a congestion issue right here on the bridge, but that's going to get fixed once we start adding more exhibits and more habitats. Uh, more and more guests will move on to other areas of the park. So this shouldn't be as bad as it is right now. Oh, uh, you guys also, um, I cut the speed build short of putting in the donation bins, but I did put in the donation bins. Uh, it was kind of like, oh crap, I forgot to do that. <laughs> so I went ahead and did that right quick. But uh, anyways, guys, uh, feel free to follow me on Discord and on Steam. I'll put the links, or my usernames, I should say, uh, in the description below. I do accept all friend requests. And um, I am looking for a name for this park. Right now, it's called No Name. <laughs> um, so uh, we should come up with something a little bit better. Otherwise, it might stay as No Name. Um, I do have one submission, which is uh, Black forest reserve or something like that uh submitted by maria thank you maria uh but i would like to get a collection of names that way we can pick the best one out of your guys' stuff and then we'll name a part a part of the park after the winner or we'll name an animal after the winner something um a building whatever that'll be discussed between whoever wins the uh, name that park uh contest if you will but um, yeah, so far I'm liking the way it's coming out for our South American portion. Next up will be the Galapagos Giant Turtles, which as I said before will be in this area. And then we'll have the other uh, exhibit area over here, which will be like the frogs and um, what is it? Frogs. What else do we got in here? We're going to have the Golden Poison Frog, the Lehman's Poison Frog, the Titan Beetle, and the Yellow Anaconda in an exhibit building right over in here to kind of mimic what we have over here. So, yeah, there we go, guys. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, if you have any suggestions, I'm way open to suggestions. I'd love to hear them, and uh, I'll probably incorporate them as well. I am considering putting a little shop over in here. Uh, I got to do a lot of garden work and rock work and whatnot over in this area to just kind of give it that uh, South American feel. But uh, yeah, you know, we, we got some good stuff going on here. Oh, and we're about to have a baby for the llamas too. Uh, so that's kind of cool. But uh, that'll be for the next episode. Uh, we'll be working on the giant turtles. And actually, while I'm thinking about that, we should probably go ahead and get them in here. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I thought there was a way we can type those in. Was it the Aldo? I thought it was the Galapagos that we wanted to get. Yeah, it is. All right. Whoops. 
as stuff goes falling. Um, I could have swore there was a... Yeah, there it is. Cool. So we're going to go ahead and get some giant tortoises. We can have... What can we have? One male and three females. So I suppose that's what we'll do. Hey, go back. Um, how do I... All right, that didn't work out. <laughs> so, um, wow, we're going to have, we're going to have to go through this whole thing like this, really? Okay, here we go. So we can have one male and two females. So what do we got here on males? We're going to grab this younger one. And for females, we got, uh, we only have two choices. We'll take them both. like that then we'll go into our animal section just like a so we're gonna throw all of these guys into quarantine and uh, yeah so next episode we will do the habitat for the turtles and we might even start with the exhibit I kind of doubt it though um, I want to keep these videos fairly short but yeah guys uh, like I said before let me know what you think shoot in your suggestions your name uh, submissions and whatnot for the zoo and as always guys be safe be cool have fun we'll catch you in the next one